Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Hillary 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara. I have Brother Dan with me again. And uh, we're continuing on in our Thanksgiving marathon. And uh, I think we have about six we're going to tape. Now this is the next set. And I can feel I'm getting laryngitis and a sore, sore throat, so that would be horrible if I can't speak, wouldn't it? Definitely. <laughs> uh, okay, you can join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to be in Jeremiah uh, chapter 5. Verses, what is it, 18 and 19? Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, in those days, says the Lord, I will not make a complete end of you, and it will be when you say, Why does the Lord our God do all these things to us? Then you shall answer them, Just as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land, so you shall serve aliens in the land that is not yours. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I have a word from January 16th of 2010. The grace of the Father is found in those who seek it. It is not enough to pray with your lips. The prayer must come from your heart. Put me above all else, and you shall be blessed. Inside of all is the fire of the Spirit. All that is necessary is to kindle it so that it can burn bright. My hour is near. The chariots of fire shall sweep across the land. All the blemishes of this world shall be removed. They have created great abominations in my eyes. Their sores shall be a reminder to them that I see all. The fire of the host shall wipe all clean. My hand shall reveal all. My judgment shall be swift and final. They shall see and know the power of the Father. Time will not be their ally. They shall turn to their God, but he will not answer them. Greed and lust which serve them will be used against them. They will beg for forgiveness, but I will not hear them. Their fate is one of utter damnation. Do not pity them. They have chosen their path. What is written of them will come to pass. What they feared not in life, they will suffer in death. You shall bear witness to what I say is true. Wow, Amen. how's that for a judgment message? And uh, this one sentence in here about the chariots of fire shall sweep across the land. And there's another one, something about the fire. Where is that? Inside of all is the fire of the Spirit. So we have the Holy Spirit uh, moving. We have judgment on the evildoers and those people that uh, worship the beast, it sounds like to me here. They shall turn to their God and he will not answer them. He's the beast. He can't answer them. So again, a call to repentance. You want to repent and be baptized. In Jesus' name, you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you can look that up in Acts 2.38. And again, I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, uh, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. Uh, that is a prophecy message I have from the Lord. I'm not able to, to send that to anyone. I'm not sure why. You can look that up. It's from January of 2012, and it is a prophecy time, and I finished at that date with the prophecy. So thank you, Brother Dan, and I hope you're enjoying our uh, Thanksgiving marathon, and join us again. Amen.